for this video, we're gonna go ahead and go over a few things you probably didn't know that the latest Mavic 2 can do. Let's get started. During its debut, DJI rolled out a bunch of new features and specs and new abilities that these latest drones can do. But not a lot of people know about this, since previous DJI drones they usually included a micro SD card for you to get out and fly your drone right out of the box. Well, these latest drones on the Mavic 2, they don't do that, but instead they give us 8GB of internal storage. So if you forget your SD card at home, you're not left stranded since you now have internal storage. Really awesome, don't you think? Now this next one is a feature that's coming out really soon. Previously on the past video of mine, I cover some accessories from the Mavic 1 that are compatible to the Mavic 2. And in that video, we tested to see if the Mavic 1 controller was compatible to the Mavic 2. And to our surprise, the controller did linked, but it wasn't giving us full control of our drone. Well, after doing a little bit of digging on the DJI website under the FAQ, someone left a question if the Mavic Pro remote controller could be operated on the Mavic 2. And DJI themselves respond, currently no. However, it will be possible soon. So here's a future feature that's coming out very soon. And I think this is really awesome for the second co-pilot controller option. Now this next one isn't a feature that's not really well known since DJI doesn't really instruct this on the tutorial or even its user manual doesn't even mention this. But there has been a couple of videos popping out about this and I might as well include this for those who are unaware. But this gimbal, you actually have full control to rotate it without needing to rotate the entire drone itself. Which means you can leave the drone heading towards one direction. And if you hard press on your screen until you see this little blue arrow, you have full momentum of the gimbal and you can point this wherever you like to. I like doing this whenever I want to do like a helicopter cinematic effect. But try not to go too far out because you will capture the blades or the legs of your drone. I find this working really great whenever you have the drone set to tripod mode. This way you could have the drone going towards one direction and you could easily control the gimbal all off your screen and allowing it to get these epic almost helicopter look effect. This next one is almost similar to what we've seen with DSLRs. Whenever you're recording and your object or subject is out of focus, on DSLRs traditionally you could hold it mid press and it will, this will readjust the autofocus on your camera. Now you're actually able to hold down the shutter speed midway and this will allow the autofocus to refocus to the subject. This is definitely a lot more efficient in my opinion than tapping the screen to get the subject in focus. So UV filters, in the past on the previous Mavic Pro, we just had to put them on top of the lens that I currently have. Well with these latest one, this works for both the Pro and the Zoom model, you could actually twist this little lens cover UV filter off. You can simply repeat this process to place a new UV filter back on to replace it. This is a lot more secure than previously where you just put it on the top of the other previous UV lens. Now this next one is compass calibration. If you ever need to recalibrate your compass on the go, previously we had to go on our menu and look for the compass calibration. Now on the side of our controller, if we switch from S to P uh, tripod mode, back and forth about three times, it will automatically prompt you with the compass calibration. So it's a lot more easier and quicker to calibrate the compass on your Mavic whenever you have to. So now for the last one, it's a feature that's integrated with the drone. Previously on the Mavic Pro, whenever you land the drone, if you land having the camera gimbal facing down, it's gonna land facing that same direction. And this will put you at risk of possibly scratching the lens on your Mavic Pro. But on these new ones, if you're landing with the gimbal facing downwards, you'll notice that the gimbal will automatically face back forward, preventing it from getting scratches when landing on loose pavement or grassy surfaces whenever you have to do those emergency landings. This will eliminate the risk of possibly scratching the lens on your Mavic. I think this was a really awesome new feature and a really smart move from DJI to make this integrated automatically. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you learned something new, don't forget to smash that like button as well as get subscribed so you don't miss any more tech videos like this. And yes, I'll be rolling out a bunch of new drone content in the near future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if there's something I missed or something that you recently found out, feel free to comment down below. I'm sure we all would like to hear about it as well. But once again, thank you all for watching. Peace.